Hello, your friendly neighborhood host, J.T. Wheatley here again, back for another episode of the History of Comics podcast, this time starting a new series of the classics, with this episode featuring Batman Beyond, the animated series. This was a classic uh, animated series that ran from 1999 to 2001 for three seasons and 52 episodes that took place in a uh, near future, about which, according to the creators, was 50 years from now, in which uh, an elderly Bruce Wayne takes in a young Terry McGillis to become the new Batman, thanks to an enhanced Batman suit, as he takes on uh, new villains in the future Gotham City. While many, while some have criticized this show as not being like the original Batman the animated series, and I will one permit that I don't think it's as good as the original Batman the animated series, it definitely follows in a great sequel and follows the spirit of the series and its continuity. Especially since that, yes, Terry McGillis is not Bruce Wayne's Batman, but then why would you want to see a copy of Bruce Wayne's Batman? Just go back and watch the original Batman animated series. Terry McGillis is different. He does have a tragedy in his life that fuels his need to become Batman and protect Gotham City, but it's not as bad. And with Bruce Wayne being his mentor, He's similar to how Bruce Wayne uh, mentored the other young robbers and heroes under his wing by teaching him his mistakes and making how to be a better hero. He's essentially helping them as a person, too. Which goes to my larger argument that I've always feared Bruce Wayne actually is an excellent father when, he, when, all, when all chips are down. And that, yes, as you've seen with uh, how he raised Dick Grayson to become Nightwing and so forth, he's raised, he's, he's taught them to be, he's taught them to be better heroes, and Terry McGinnis is no exception. He becomes actually a, he's a, he is a different Batman. He's got an enhanced suit. He has fly abilities. He also, he talks a lot more and he jokes. And the villains are not uh, the standing run of the mill either. Like uh, the creators deliberately set out to not do the uh, references to the old series. They did bring back a few of them, like Mr. Freeze makes an appearance and you find what happened to Bane and things like that. But all in all, he has a, a nice, um, Unique blend of his own villains from Shriek, who has sound bending powers to spellbinders. He causes hallucinations. It's a very cool series. There are some neat references to the old series, too, as well. For instance, Barbara Gordon, a former Batgirl, was now the police commissioner, which is actually at least twist as well. And uh, all in all, yeah, this is a this is a great animated series that unfortunately got abruptly canceled at the end of the third season, so it wasn't given a real epilogue, which actually ended up being the, the epilogue in the season two finale of uh, Justice League Unlimited, which is another classic series I'll originally have to get to. And which revealed a surprising connection to Terry McGinnis and Bruce Wayne. And of course, the what I consider the real epilogue is the Batman Beyond Return of the Joker animated movie, but that is so good that that will receive a standalone classic episode in the near future. But all in all, if you uh, want to see a great sequel to the obviously the classic Batman animated series, which is still, in my opinion, the best version of Batman, period, all around... You can't go. You can't get much better than Batman Beyond. Great voice acting by Will Friedle and uh, Kevin Conroy, Ken McCurson as Bruce Wayne. Uh, animation's a little jarring at first, but it has a neat futuristic vibe to it. And of course, the writing is still great with Alan Burnett and Paul Dini and um, Bruce Timm back as the showrunners. So yeah, definitely check it out. I understand the entire series in the DC universe. Uh, I actually picked up the uh, Blu-ray collection uh, last year and. And loved every second of it. It's a great, great buy all around. You get three seasons plus the Batman Beyond Return of the Joker animated movie. And yeah, definitely check out the Batman Beyond. That is a true classic. And now it is uh, April 23rd, 2020. Time for the favorite read of the week. As you know, still, uh, there are no new uh, comic books being uh, distributed through Diamond and so forth for the comic book companies. So I've been going back and uh, leading, uh, picking up some old trades and reading them and uh, giving them little reviews. And uh, at the comic book store, I did pick up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Ultimate Collection, Volume 1, which collects the original first seven issues plus the one-shot Raphael issue by Kevin Eastman and Peter Lair that began the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. This is a great uh, independent co- co- collection. That while well, yeah, a little writing, the rough, the writing is rough and the art as well because this was Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman's first works. But it's great to see how the turtles really started. And of interesting note, how violent they were starting out. I mean, this uh, in their very first book, they kill and maim a bunch of people, take on the Shredder and so forth. And the series throughout it, you would get introduced to Baxter Stockman and Grow New, who are also a little different from the original cartoons. For instance, Baxter Stockman was originally a black man in the comic book, and April O'Neil was his lab assistant, not a reporter. But uh, throughout these seven issues, you also get introduced to Casey Jones, everyone's favorite uh, hockey mask vigilante. You, you introduce a race of aliens that seems real familiar and so forth. But yeah, this, you can definitely see the groundwork of what made the Turtles so great to begin with. It's a very fun comic. Um, 
Fans will be jarring. The, like I said, a little bit rough, but great read all in all. And for anyone ever wanted to know the great past of the original uh, Ninja Turtles, this is a great way to start. So yeah, pick this up perfectly at your local comic book store or wherever books are sold in general. This a uh, great read in general. And uh, with that, uh, that's the conclusion of this first series of classics, which I'll be producing uh, for the next few weeks or so forth until I refill uh, my bank of uh, history episodes. Uh, rest assured, I'm still doing research and everything. Uh, I'll probably, yeah, we'll see how long this goes, but I'll keep uh, turning out the classics till then. And until then, please go out, uh, stay safe during this whole COVID mess, uh, practice your social distancing and self quarantine and so forth. Also, try to support your local combo store if you can, either through mail orders, curbside. And my local combo store does allow for uh, social distancing if you can go in there and shop there to six feet and so forth like that. And yeah, pick up any, if they're like no new comic books, but hey, pick up uh, a trade or, or a toy or a game you haven't been wanting to pick up for a while, uh, like I just did with Teenage Mutant Turtles uh, Volume 1. And in, and also, uh, during this uh, self quarantining, uh, be sure to binge uh, Batman Beyond, the animated series, because that's a good, a true classic. 